Shalom. I'm going to start off with giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles, you know, there's a great millstone, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. The book of Second Edges, chapter 15, verse 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. And will destroy all the land thereof. Who's going to be brought out with a mighty hand? Well, members of the elect is going to be brought out with that mighty hand. And you will see Egypt being smitten with plagues as before. As I'm about to dive into this article, you can see this starting to take place once again as it did in ancient Egypt. And not just those plagues, right? That happened in ancient Egypt, but more plagues and judgment that's coming upon America, Babylon the Great. Now, I'm going to get this scripture as well before we dive into this article, the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 7, uh, verse 8. It says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. Now, the dead bodies represent the Israelites whom are spiritually dead. The great city represents America, Babylon the Great. Which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. You see the Sodomite behavior that's going on in amongst a Babylon a great. And Egypt represents what? A place of bondage. Right? Just as we was in bondage in ancient Egypt. And we cried out and the Lord heard our cries. And he sent Moses to deliver us out of the land of Egypt. But what, what came before that deliverance? Plagues. And plagues are coming back. Plagues are coming back, but it's coming to the modern day Egypt now. Continuing on, it says, uh, it says, so which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Going into this is where when it speaks about our Lord being crucified, meaning the ways of our Lord is X out. You have an anti-Messiah spirit running rapid throughout the earth. Okay. So this is how you're seeing the uh, ways of our Lord uh, X'd out, as it says, where our, also our Lord was crucified. But I want to get one more precept before I go into this lesson or this article about the dead bodies represent the uh, Israelites that are spiritually dead. The book of Proverbs, chapter 20, this is 21. I think it's 21, not 21. Um, it's 23. No, 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 no. I think it's 21, it's verse 16. Here we go. So it says, The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. And our people have wandered. Okay? They have stumbled out of the way of understanding. And the way of understanding is this truth. Okay? As Yahweh Shai uh, uh, mentioned that he is the way, he is the truth, he is the light, roughly paraphrasing. They have wandered out of the way of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So what are our people in now? They're in the congregation of the dead. They are spiritually dead. Yeah, you might see them, you know, walking around, talking, laughing, all, all these different other all these different things, but they are spiritually dead. So we can go to this preset real quick. We're we gonna jump right into this article. It's gonna be something quick to the spirit. The book of Second Ezra, chapter 15. All right, so that's what we're hold off at. Let's go into this article, right, that I seen. It was sent to the chat. Check this out. It says, uh, plagues of frogs, toads, and tadpoles cause multi-car pileup. A biblical plague of toads, frogs, and tadpoles wrecked havoc in Honduras City, even causing a multi-car pileup. The amphibians took over the streets and homes of Coloma, after heavy rain fell in the area, causing drains to overflow and puddles to form. The outbreak started on December 3rd and according to locals continued for at least three days. At one point, a pickup truck lost control on the slime left behind and caused a pileup involving at least five vehicles, including a tanker, two lorries and a motorbike that was left burnt to a crisp. There were, there were no fatalities, but the road was blocked for some time, causing a long tailback, said residents. Some of the people caught up in the crash had been taken to the hospital 
in the nearby city of San Pedro Sula. Several people or several people filmed the creature swarming the area, including one man who said, this scares me. It looks more like the plagues of Egypt, according to the book of Exodus. The second plague of Egypt was a plague of frogs. The account says Moses at the command of the Most High Yahweh brought forth a multitude of amphibians from the Nile and they even covered Egypt for three days. Earlier this month, another biblical plague, this time of locusts, hit Yucatan and Mexico. Miles long, miles long clouds of bugs blanketed the skies, flying through shopping plazas, smacking into windows of apartment complexes and gobbling up anything green in local parks. Um... This is from End Time Headlines, ETH. End Time's headline is a ministry that provides news and headlines from a prophetic perspective, as well as weekly podcasts to inform and equip believers of the signs and seasons that we are living in today. What do the scriptures say? Be circumspect, right? Why? Because the times that we are living in are evil. Okay, we are in the evil times. And, and, and hey, prophetic things are happening all throughout the world. Okay? That was written in the scriptures and see this is where the servants the prophets come at because we all right we we more of you know uh uh we provide the the true uh uh prophetic news and headlines from the prophetic perspective according to the scriptures in truth right in truth and sincerity and these are the times we in now you got this book you see from jane e woolley hedrick it says the fall of mystery babylon right now where's mystery babylon oh <laughs> America, America. Yeah, that that's where it's, this is speaking of. This is America. This is Mystery Babylon. This is Babylon the Great. Okay, and I believe that's it. That's that's it. Yeah, that's it all on that. But as you can see, as they said, uh, you know, uh, what was the um that happened in Yucatan? A locust, right? And and you got so more instances of these 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 things taking place right all across the world you know things that was mentioned in the scriptures why because we in that time we in that season actually we at the end of this thing but i want to read this again the book of second others chapter 15 because the scriptures don't lie all right the scriptures don't lie one bit and we are seeing okay from day to day week to week month to month year to year that hey the lord is visiting this place which he has made and like he has said and told you before of what was going to take place so again it says um verse 11 second to the 15 verse 11 but i will bring thee with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten but the plague and punishment back the most high shall bring upon it. So just like what happened in ancient Egypt, the Lord going to bring this punishment to a uh, modern day Egypt, which is spiritually called Sodom in Egypt, which is America, Babylon, the great. OK, uh, let me get one more, one more. You know, as the other why I say, if I may. The book of second Ezra chapter nine, verse one, he answered me, and answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. When thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there should be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then thou shalt well understand that the Most High spake of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. And you, you can see it. You can see it, right? If you're paying attention what's going on around the earth today, you can see it. You can feel it that we we at the end of this thing. All right? So that was just something I want to uh, bring out, you know, through the spirit real quick on a, on a lunch break lesson. Lord, will love us edifying. Till next time, I want to say shalom.